Hello and welcome to this frosty snow picture edit. Today I'm gonna take this draw file and I'm gonna turn it into a very artistic high key black and white picture while explaining to you what adjustments I do. This picture was taken last December in Basel in Switzerland and it really started snowing very heavily. A few hours ago there was like no snow on the ground and it's really a rarity to see um, so much snow on the ground in a city in Switzerland actually. So I really think this has kind of a special mood. Now it's definitely not a great picture in terms of framing and composition because I really just took this kind of while walking and I really just saw this um, bicycle guy. Uh, riding by and I thought that would work pretty well for a picture so I ended up with this and Today I really just want to edit this in black and white because I really don't think the color is all that interesting and I really just want to concentrate more on the lighting rather than the color. So black and white really is a nice way to simplify the picture and the first thing I'm going to do here is raise the exposure. Now it's already pretty bright and it's towards the right of the histogram but this really is a different picture to what I usually edit. I really want to go with a very high key artistic look here. Here. So I'm gonna raise the exposure quite a bit and bring the highlights down at the same time. That way we really don't blow any highlights and it still looks brighter than before, obviously. Now bringing down the highlights really just doesn't even do that much. It just retrieves some of the detail in the very bright highlights. So that looks pretty good right now. Let's try and bring up the shadows just so we have a very low contrast image to work with first of all. And speaking of low contrast, actually I'm not going to bring down the contrast slider because that way it really looks too washed out. So let's see, I might even bring the contrast a little bit to the right to get a little bit more emphasis in the textures here, especially in these door frames. I don't want to overdo that, but just a little bit looks pretty good, I think. And let's see with the blacks. The blacks are kind of like contrast, just that they affect a very small portion of the entire picture because they just bring down or up the black parts. So here, let me see. I don't actually think I want to go down with the blacks, even though I don't really think that looks as bad. It's really just not what I want to go for in this picture. So I might even bring it up a little bit and the whites here because I want to make this a very high key picture I'm definitely going to bring up the whites and just make sure that they don't clip of course I don't want anything clipped in this picture even though it's a very high key picture so that is pretty much it for now let me see clarity now clarity I feel like I'm just gonna leave that at zero and then add a little bit of differentiation with clarity with the graduated filter later. Let's see tonal curve. I'm gonna bring up the highlights just a little bit here. That really just blows out everything but just a little bit does help. And the lights, the rest, maybe even bring that down a little bit to get some of the detail back. Hmm that one a little bit to the right and the shadows don't really do much so I'm just gonna leave them at zero. Now HSL tool is a black and white picture and I'm not gonna add anything there. Let me actually see, usually I like to keep my black and white pi pictures pure black and white but for this picture it might even work to add a little bit of blues in the highlights. I'm really not sure but let me just play around with that and see if it does. Huh. I actually feel it does work. Yeah, just so it emphasizes the cold, the cold weather, the cold mood a little bit more. It's definitely up to you if you want to do something like that, but I feel like I like it a little bit better than before for this picture right here. Then shadows, I don't even think I'm gonna add anything there. Detail. Now, usually I would add sharpening and for this picture it really is such a soft, snowy, almost a little bit hazy and misty picture so I don't want to add any sharpening than the default in Lightroom but as always definitely going to bring the masking slider to the right so these lar large patches of snow don't get sharpened and don't get additional noise. 
then color noise reduction is really nothing we have to worry about in a black and white picture and in terms of um, noise there's really not too much noise here so lens correction is just gonna do my basic thing here this was shot by the way with the Canon 60 that I've landed from a friend um, with his 50mm f1.8 lens and it really worked out pretty good to have such a small aperture for street photography even though I didn't use it in this case because I really wanted at least some depth of field here even though the background definitely is not sharp but I really don't care it really works for this picture to not have everything perfectly sharp in focus then I think I'm actually gonna leave the vignetting at zero just because it doesn't really have that big of an impact and hmm, even though I want to keep this picture very bright and kind of keep it high key I still think a little bit of vignetting might even work let me just see here maybe something like that maybe even bring that a little bit more towards the center and yeah here's before here's after I feel like it works a little bit better than before then camera profile as always just gonna play around with that that's definitely terribly overexposed this one is too too much here add as well this doesn't look bad camera standard or a dope standard I feel like I'm gonna go with camera standard here really not that big of a difference but I just like it a little bit better so I feel like I'm pretty much done with global adjustments but I really just want to play around with the local adjustments quite a lot in this picture so first of all I'm gonna grab a graduated filter and just drag it over the top portion with a very soft edge in this picture and just introduce some plus exposure even brighter even more exposure here then I want to even bring down the clarity so it really looks like there's a, a snowstorm in the back and so you really can create the, the sense of depth and I really think it works good for this picture here and yeah then let me grab another graduated filter there and maybe try it on the bottom portion here so I've got the graduated filter for the bottom here very very soft edge and let me just try to bring down the exposure slightly and don't think that works really all that well let me try and bring the clarity a little bit to the right and yeah that way you really get a little bit of sense of a sharp foreground going to the kind of medium sharp middle ground going to the very soft and almost blurry background now I could do this way more by adding sharpness and even more clarity but even though I want the differentiation in terms of clarity and in terms of softness in the picture I still want to keep the overall picture rather soft so I'm not gonna do anything too much here I'm just gonna leave it like that and I mean this picture is quite interesting and of course very different to what I usually edit so let me actually try and add a little bit of dodge and burning I'm really not sure if that will actually work here in this picture actually maybe making this part even brighter here in the background really gives even a better sense of depth here is before here's after yeah I think that works but in terms of other dodge and burning now I could definitely add a lot of contrast and especially minus exposure to add a little bit more variety in the exposure of the frame but that way I really make the whole picture a little bit too harsh and once again that's really not what I'm going for so even though that doesn't look bad I really don't think I'm gonna add any of that here and I really just want to go with this very bright and very soft high key black and white picture but a thing that I could play around with is cropping now this is just the edge of street sign so that definitely isn't that great this guy right here I feel like he really actually works for this picture but let me try to um, edit this picture without him as well huh interesting that really gave it a very different look to it I like both but I feel like almost this very large part of the right portion 
of your of the street right here almost is kind of unnecessary and almost distracts from the actual picture so I feel like I kind of like this crop in terms of getting away getting rid of so much of the foreground here works pretty good but let me just try with this guy try with this guy and here is before <laughs> does this or this work better I'm sorry by the way for being so hesitant on every adjustment this really isn't the tutorial um, that I usually do it's really just me editing a picture and kind of take you along with it yeah I almost feel like it's a little bit more simplistic that way without the guy and without this right portion of the picture so I feel like this framing works pretty good I mean if you crop your image you generally want to do this in a very early um, position of editing because if you add graduated filters of course that will change everything up a little bit but it's really not that big of a deal so it's always a better idea to crop afterwards than to not crop at all if you think that the cropped image looks better at the end. So here is the original crop and here's the after crop. Yeah, I really like him being more towards the bottom right of the picture. But anyways, I feel like I'm done here with this picture. Really nothing that I usually edit, really something very extraordinary. So let's see the before and after regardless. Here's the before and you can see it really is much harsher, much more sharp, much more clarity than what I've ended up with. But anyways, here's the black and white without any adjustments and here's the final very high key soft artistic picture actually this is the final so it's really nice to kind of go with the opposite of what you usually edit and really just see some different styles and some different looks to a picture and i actually really think this picture ended up pretty good and i definitely like the mood here thank you very much for watching this very frosty black and white edit like or dislike the video accordingly and of course be sure to subscribe for more thank you very much once again and i wish you a beautiful day